the only hammer I got. Okay. We're going to set a supplemental calendar for today. We've already done one. you got to at least fill up the time. Um, not, not south, it's not. It's a lot. Would you present House Bill 304? Mr. Chairman, members of the committee, House Bill 304 will suspend the state collection of motor fuel taxes through May 31, 2022, and will be effective upon Governor Kemp's signature. 304 covers gasoline, diesel, av aviation gasoline, liquefied petroleums, and special fuels. I'll stand for any questions. Mr. Williamson. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Representative Lott, our leader, poor leader Lott, uh, thank you for bringing the measure on behalf of Governor Kemp. We talked about it yesterday in Ways and Means, but is it not true that w the consumers will not see an immediate day of release, uh, a day of uh, when the gas tax is removed, that it will take a little bit of time for those <coughs> contracts and deliveries that, were, that, that had the tax in them to work through the pumps and the tanks at the retailers? Is that not true? Yes, you're making an excellent point. Um, and to answer that question, the, this will not become immediately effective because the price, uh, the, the tax collection happens at the distributor. So there's that period of time between the distributor and the retailer. And so we will have um, a, a short window where the folks will not see it at the pump. So follow-up question, <coughs> yes. to your point, is it not true that these wholesalers jobbers and the, is what a lot of people call them they sell on a contract basis for future delivery sometimes the next day sometimes a week or two weeks away so they've sold it the wholesaler has to collect the tax on the day that it was sold but it might take up to two weeks before uh, it's delivered and then it has to be pumped through the pumps the retailers got to get their price so it will take a few days uh, yes, a sir. week or so before <coughs> the consumers will see uh, any kind of relief at the pump. But that's the way the process works. Is that not true? Yes, sir. So this will apply to the distributors from the, the point upon the governor's signature that will become effective at that point at the distributor level. And so it will take that period of time for, the, for that gas to then be uh, at a lower rate. Mr. Jaspers. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Madam Floor Leader, is it not true that this will save Georgia citizens and the driving public approximately $165 million a month? That's absolutely true. Those are the estimates that we have from just the previous month. I think yeah. uh, the month of February, we calculated the gas, state gas tax to be $167 million for yeah. the month of February. Thank you. That's excellent. Mr. Williams. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And thank the lady for this bill. It's well needed, but is it not true, in spite of the very eloquent explanation of the cost, that the folk down in Liberty County wonder why, when there's a rumble any place, the gas goes up immediately, but when there's relief, it takes two weeks. <laughs> Representative Williams, that's a fantastic okay, now, question and not one that I have the answer hey, to. Y'all remember, this is not the place to debate this bill. If, if you want to debate it, I know what you're doing. If it, wanted, if it needed to be debated, it could be done in... Uh, in committee. I'm going to turn everybody off. Excuse me. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Okay, because we're here to set a supplemental calendar. Okay. Um, Ms. Ballinger, we have a um, substitute for House Bill 1358, LC number 393385S. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I appreciate the opportunity to present. Uh, there were a few clerical errors on uh, 100, 102, and 104 uh, within this bill uh, regarding the private private property. There had been some strike throughs and some inserted language that was a little bit confusing to folks, and we've just uh, taken that out, um, taken those changes that were in there out for clarification to the public. I'll be happy to answer questions. See no questions. I hear a move. Move. Uh, move and a second. All in favor say aye. Aye. 
All opposed like sign. Okay, all opposed, raise your hand. One, two, three, four. <laughs> it passed. Okay. All right. All right, listen up. I'm going to set a calendar for, a supplemental calendar for today. For another one for today. Mr. Williams, it's not snowing down there where you go. <laughs> now you got to go deal with nets all the time, so snow's no big deal. Okay, time to set the calendar because we got to go back on, on the floor so we can listen to the budget. House Bill 304, it's on. House Bill 1358, uh, substitute LC 393385S, it's on. Meetings adjourned.